coming up we will be talking about your new year's eve fitness plan it's time to take on the battle of the bulge i'm jake berry this is talk tv <laughs> scott um thank you for joining us thank you for having Look, me we've all gone a bit mad over christmas the battle of the bulge it. is on in January, we're all going to slim down, get healthy for the new year. And you've written a, a new book that tells us all how to do it. Tell us a bit about it. I have. So this is Eat Your Way to a Six Pack. Um, DK have published it for me. I'm very grateful to them. And uh, I run a programme, which is a 75-day programme, called The Six Pack Revolution. And the secret's now out, and it's now been put into a book with um, 85 recipes, 11 workouts that you have no equipment. You can take them straight from this book. And uh, it's the ultimate 75-day transformation plans. If you want to change your life forever, in 2024, it's ready for you. But, you know, as someone who's the owner of a lure pack rather than a six pack, <laughs> I'm very, very interested to reading this book. And what I think is fascinating about it is the focus you've given on mindfulness and that mental battle, because we all know those New Year's resolutions, uh, they fall away so quickly and we're straight back to the fridge for our midnight cheese raid. Um, how important is it that you sort of mentally try to grip this issue about taking control of your health? I think the biggest problem that people face is that they don't actually change their relationship with food, with drink, and with themselves. So if you, once this works, everything works. So it's really important that you focus on everything, not just, oh, I'm gonna change this, or I'm gonna change a little bit of that. Take a whole approach to the whole thing. Because otherwise you're just gonna end up back at square one if you don't change the way you think. So we focus on everything. Okay, and as someone who's a, uh, a bit of a, a sort of exercise novice, what's what's the so the thing I do is I like walking. I actually lost a little bit of weight last year, lost a couple of stone, uh, well done. put some of it back on. But uh, the main thing that got me out was getting a new dog. I had an old dog; she was a bit elderly and didn't like going on walks. My new dog, who's sort of full of the vim and vigour of life, wants to go on two hours worth of walks a day. That's how I sort of try and keep my fitness up. But what what's a good sort of gateway fitness sort of regime for people? Well, there's always a adaptation to any level of fitness. Even on our programme, we have 18 to 81 year olds, um, different disabilities, abilities, cultures, colours, creeds. Um, in, we're in 77 countries, so different foods and all stuff like that. 90% um, of your results is going to come from the nutrition side, though. But exercise wise, if you can't squat deep, squat an inch. If you can't cool. run, walk. If you can't jump, step. There's always an easy way. Even if you can't do a press up on the floor, and, and, do it against here. And is the main thing what you eat? Because I, I've always struck by the fact that if you had a weight problem and someone handcuffed you to a chair, I'm not recommending it, and, and didn't feed you, you would lose weight, wouldn't you? We all sort of obsess You'd about exercise die. and the act. Well, of course you would die. I'm not, I'm not suggesting this is a good idea. I just, for the purpose of demonstration, but we obsess, don't we, about exercise, and it's really important, but isn't it much more to do with portion control and how... So I lost weight, is I just ate half portions and tried to take more exercise. Well, it's not just I actually think the portion control was more important. Yeah, 90% of your results will definitely come from what goes in here. You can train 20 times a week. It's not going to change your visual you'll get stronger and your heart and lungs will get better but it's not going to get rid of the fat really unless you change what you're eating and you'll find that you eat actually more on my program than you do now so it's all about what you eat and also the balance on the plate when you have the balance on the plate right you balance your body balance your hormones you uh, build a machine that works at its optimum when it works at its optimum it burns fuel efficiently which is and fat. Scott, you've had your own battle with weight over the years you weren't born I in have. this we well, were born in a a sort of lithe, sloth-like figure, but you've, you've managed to drop your weight down as well. Is it by following your programme? Yeah, I, I, I turned this around only at when the age of 42. I, um, I created... I, I decided Here we go, we day, can see you on the screen. Fat Scott and Thin Scott. Yep, I did that, I did that in 90 days. Back then, my pro, I did 90 days. Um, I've now found a way of getting you better results in less time. So now it's a 75-day programme. But, yeah, that took me just 90 days. Wow, extraordinary. Becca, are you going to have any New Year's resolutions about getting fit and staying healthy? I always do, but I'm interested in the point that you make about kind of the mind over matter. Because, yeah, January 1st, you think, right, I'm going to be in the gym, I'm no carbs, and then by the Friday, you sort of slip back into some old habits. So I think tackling that, like, mental battle feels very important yeah and is that what makes your program different than many of the program i mean the shelves will be full of books other books will be available is it your sort of focus on the psychological battle that makes your program different i think so not only that the actual program itself we have support live with you all day every day so from the minute before you well before you start till after you finish we are live so if you ask ask a question it's answered in minutes well yeah. so we are and we're all together doing it together so it's like a community as well and what was the turning point for you when did you decide to really take control of your your life and your weight and your personal health 
December 2015, I was in the school playground on a rare occasion of picking the kids up. And I was looking at all the parents and um, let's say they were looking overweight, um, a bit poisoned, and all the kids were running out to their role models. And I was like, that's very good, is it? And then I realized I was one of them. Mm. So that day I decided my New Year's resolution in the January was gonna get a six pack. Um, and I chose 90 days at the time and I blogged it on Facebook. And uh, yes, yeah, cut a long story short, we're now changing lives all over the world in 77 countries, tens of thousands of people every year. Alicia, what will, what will your New Year's resolution be when it comes? Probably not an exercise related one purely because I feel like just as Becca said, you always have the intention <laughs> and then it just slowly, slowly slips away. I haven't actually thought of one yet this year. Would you want the six pack revolution? Left. I'll turn you yeah, into I Lara need, Croft in 75 days. Am I not already? What are you looking for? What are you trying good? to say? I don't know. I can't. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't looking. Maybe like, who's going to do dry January? <laughs> and dry... Absolutely not. Yeah. You know, my theory of this is January's already probably the most boring month. I've livened it up a little bit. Come on. You don't want to make it worse. OK, dry January? <laughs> no, not at all. You, can you drink during your programme? There is no alcohol whatsoever. Oh, God. What, what is the... Isn't it a shame <laughs> that everyone's, like, um, held to ransom by alcohol? What, what would be it's only a short thing. amount of time. If, you, if oh, our viewers could just do one thing from your programme to try and get a better 2024, what would it be? Increase your water intake. Increase your water intake. Yeah, That's a really sure. good one. I tell three you, I, three I, or four litres a day. I always do dry January. I don't actually drink very much anyway, but I do always do dry January. And a few years ago, I got to the end of January and I was feeling so much better. I thought, right, it's 2017, by the way, I think I'll do a dry Brexit. Maybe it's 2018. <laughs> I can't remember. And it was that year <laughs> where Brexit kept on being delayed and delayed and delayed. We were to leave the European Union in March. Not a drop of alcohol. <laughs> Had crossed my lips, no French wine, of course, we were drinking that anyway because we believe in Brexit. Not a drop of alcohol crossed my lips, and then it was delayed, and then it was delayed again, and it eventually got to October, and I just thought, I just can't cope. So I went to the pub and had a few pints. So I did a dry Brexit, but I failed. But I, I didn't drink for most of the year, and the interesting thing about dry January is the health benefits, the loss of precancerous blood cells, the, the, the sort of focus. The health benefits actually last for about six or seven months. So it would be my one tip. After well, your is... Scott increased water intake would be reduced, no alcohol. Well, there is no alcohol, yeah, definitely no alcohol. That, that, I thought that was a given. But um, it's only for 75 days while you rewire how your body and mind works. And then you can have the... I, I teach everyone at the end how to keep their results and still party twice a week. But we've got to change the way your body and mind works first. That and then you get the best for, of both worlds. Well, that would not work for Becca and Lucy. Oh, Twi only party twice, twice a week. Twice a week. <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, I just want to clarify. I feel like I've come across as like the biggest loser on this show. Because I've said, <laughs> said bigger champagne and Prosecco bottles. The pint sizes are too small. And now I've said alcohol all through January. I think it's really good that people have the choice. And, you know, I don't think everyone should drink. And if you want the freedom to not be able to, or you don't want to drink, I think that's really, no, really I good. The best so I just want to clarify that. But <laughs> the best of both worlds is when you but change. But if, you if you're going to do dry January, don't forget to go and drink those soft drinks in your local pub. Because even if you're doing dry January, they still need you. Sadly, we've come to the end of the show. Thank you for tuning in. Up next is Penny Smith and James Max. Have a great day. This is Talk TV. I'm Jake Berry.